Well, the heat also knocked out equipment at a power station in Acton, which meant that a lot of people did not have air conditioning. Christina Rex is live in Acton tonight, where Christina, that has to be miserable on a night like this. Oh, awful, Lisa. And actually, at last check, about 12,000 customers across the whole state are without power right now. 8,000 of those popping up right now in the Falmouth area. But here in Acton, still about 3,000 customers don't have power. So what does that mean? It means dark businesses and people stuck inside really hot homes. Closed signs all over Acton businesses Wednesday afternoon as a power outage puts 11,000 people in town without air conditioning. Uh, you're sweaty. It sucks. You can't sleep, I guess. It's hot all day. This family came to Trader Joe's to try to pass the time outside of their hot home. But they and many other customers were turned away because the lights were off. Public works crews hooked up generators to power traffic lights to relieve police officers of traffic control as Eversource worked all night to get the power and the cool air back on. In Boston, the heat was a bust for business. It's empty. Nobody, nobody's sitting outside. Restaurants struggled to fill patio tables in the north end as a warm plate of pasta in the simmering sun wasn't exactly the way to beat the heat. Right. No, no. People don't want to eat heavy. They want to eat nice and light, a piece of fish or a salad or a soup. That's it. But this story needs a happy ending, and that's brought to you courtesy of these kids. It's really hot. Just swimming. Why? Because it's extremely hot outside. They know that a dunk in the pool <laughs> or dancing through the splash pad. are the best ways to stay cool. Mommy let me have some fun stuff. Mommy let me go here and I'm really happy. So cute. So in case any of that outdoor fun gets too fun, Boston EMS tells me they have extra ambulances on standby for any heat-related calls. They say they have seen a slight uptick in calls over the last couple days, but that's typical for a heat wave in Boston. For now, live in Acton, Christina Rex, WBZ News.